Good afternoon. My name is Keisha Lance Bottoms, and I am the mayor of Atlanta, Georgia, the cradle of the civil rights movement and the 10th largest economy in the United States. Thank you to Chairman Richmond and to Chairman Thompson and to each of you for having me here today. It is an honor to join you. In the early morning hours of March 22, 2018, 77 days into my term as mayor and only four days into the tenure of our new COO, Atlanta's government experienced a ransomware cyber attack, which impacted our operations and our ability to provide services to our residents and our visitors. To paint a broader picture of that day, the city of Atlanta has nearly 9,000 employees, and it goes without saying that many rely on technology to do their jobs and to keep the city running. We were incapacitated. Fortunately, our daily mission critical services such as fire, police, and ambulance were not severely impacted, and neither was our water supply. However, some departments and government entities suffered irreparable damage, including our police department, which lost stored dash cam video footage. The Atlanta Municipal Court had to cancel and reschedule hearings. Our customer service interface, known as ATL 311, was knocked offline. Many other applications were impacted or affected, delaying the delivery of city services. As the first day unfolded, it became clear to us that criminals had attacked the city's computer systems, and we moved quickly to mitigate those circumstances. The first few hours of the attack were critical for limiting damage and determining our steps going forward. We notified law enforcement and key partners, including our insurance carrier, our government partners, the media, and the public. We also needed to learn in details what systems, functions, and operations were impacted. That may sound simple, but during an emergency, the process of identifying every compromised system was challenging, especially without the assistance of technology. Out of an abundance of caution, we took some systems offline and hired an outside security firm to assist with our response. We soon discovered that attackers were demanding a ransom payment of $51,000 in bitcoins to unlock our systems. We refused to pay. The cost of recovery to date has been approximately $7.2 million, and that number is still climbing. Some costs have been reimbursed under our cyber insurance policies, which thankfully, for the first time, we had obtained just a few months before the attack. Last November, federal authorities charged two Iranians with the attack and outlined their massive scheme to breach computer networks of local governments, healthcare systems, and other public entities. Our cyber attack was not unique. Digital extortion is now a common occurrence affecting many organizations in the public and private sectors, and cyber threats are becoming much more hostile and frequent and we must continue to understand how to protect ourselves against these attacks when they occur. The good news is that Atlanta is rebounding from this attack and sharing its experience with other cities. But the reality is that as elected officials, we often make investments in infrastructure that people can see. In my nearly two-year campaign for mayor, not once did a constituent ask me about my investment in cybersecurity. Following our unfortunate experience, we have been advising other cities to help them better understand the continuity measures that are needed. We are adopting a more flexible and hardened infrastructure using advanced technologies and the cloud to diversify and minimize our risk. We're also emphasizing the importance of cross-functional response teams, including our federal and state government partners. But no city can do this effectively without strong partnerships. Through our process, Atlanta has worked with the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, the Secret Service, and the private sector. The work we did to prepare for the Super Bowl earlier this year is a great example of that collaboration. We are staying proactive so that we can understand and better manage this ever-changing landscape. 
We've also learned that you can never completely protect your computer network, and quite frankly, that remains our biggest challenge. Atlanta is more prepared and resilient than ever, but we continue to need strong partnerships. We, many cities, especially small cities, simply lack the resources needed to develop the safety net that's needed to protect against these attacks. We, the federal government should also expand programs that share real-time threat information, which is often critical in avoiding and mitigating threats. Also, we should have federal programs in place to provide cybersecurity disaster relief funding that will help offset some of these costs. And lastly, we need your help to ensure the safety and security of the electoral process as city and state governments administer the elections that are the foundation of our democracy. With the support and assistance of partners such as the Department of Homeland Security and this distinguished committee, all of our cities and our country can be safer and better prepared. Thank you.